Dongguan, the manufacturing capital of Guangdong? Definitely. Hear Dongguan Magazine, an English speaker's portal to this bustling city? Absolutely. This month and every month on Hear DG Plus, get exposed to the Dongguan you want. This month on Hear DG Plus, in the scenes from around town, a Guangcheng flash mob, international DJ Eddie Hallowell, and more, plus top 5 megapixel photos of the month. Then stay tuned for the Hear DG Plus feature section for a sweet way to unwind in Dongguan's old city center. And at the Dongguan Leopards Arena, we meet and attempt to embarrass the team's newest NBA imports. Steven Roberts here with Hear DG Plus. We're talking with um, Eddie Hallowell, a very well known DJ. Most of you guys probably know him. So, Eddie, what do you expect uh, to try new tonight? Well, as I say, we've got there's that much great music out there at the minute. I've just got, I've just been organising some music on the plane. You know, you're getting new, so much great music through week in, week out, and I'm just making sure you keep your playlists up to date. Here at Dongchung Bar Street's revamped V Plus Club, the crowd was ready for something fresh. While here, DG Plus sat backstage for a few words from the chart-topping DJ during his pre-show ritual. Uh, do you want to say anything else to uh, to Dong Wan first? Yeah, hope uh, we have a great night and uh, remember to fire it up. <laughs> fire it up, guys. While Eddie was firing up the crowd, the masses were proving their own talent at Dyna City Shopping Center in the third annual Easy Step Singing Contest. On December 7th, the competition matched students from Dongguan's colleges and universities against one another to compete for bragging rights, some cash, and a spotlight in front of cheering fans. Fast March had taken over the world on November the 17th. One such performance gathered the casual weekend Class C children's choir in front of Dongguan's West Gate to sing the Chinese love ballad, The Lovely Home, as a way to spice up the day for passersby. to the 100th issue party. We just want to give Dongguan a good time tonight for reading us for the last eight years. Can you hear me? Here Dongguan Magazine, after eight years in publication, likes to think that it's at the center of what is happening in the city. But editor-in-chief Zip Glickman started by walking the streets in search of nightlife to discover the city's heart and soul. To celebrate the magazine's 100th issue, it was only proper to throw a party for the readers and local businesses that made it possible. Staff, photographers, and contributors joined together on November 9th at Shooter's Restaurant and Bar for a party to remember, then forced their way next door to Vita Bar for the official after party. All right, one other issue here in Dong Wan. I'm gonna have some fun tonight. Hello, everyone, this is Adam Mark. Now, as you see, this is Da Xi Ro, and that is Zheng Hua Ro. We are here today and enjoy some very famous snack. The Jidan Zai is over there. The alleys of Dongguan's historical Guangcheng district can hide surprises and local treats. Among them are the sweet snacks of Aunt Lee's street stall. Now, at age 66, Lee has been retired for six years. But it is her second career that entices large lines of people to cut obstacles into the small streets of Guangcheng. Jidan Zai, you're asking, what is it exactly? It's eggs, sugar, water, flour, battered up, fried in a skillet. Let's get some. What do you think? Exactly. All right. Idea. End of line. Yeah. You like the egg and die over there? Yes, I did not. Open from 7 to 11 p.m. every night, the snacks represent more than just a few extra calories after dinner. They fit most importantly within Dongwan's social scene, where young and old alike come for a bag full of small balls, similar in flavor to sweetened pancakes, as they stroll through the evening with family and friends. We ate Gaitan Jai since we were kids, like 27 years. Uh. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 20 years. 20 years? Jai. It's good, yeah. 
Is it, does it taste that good? Why do you come here twice to four, to four times a month? Well, actually, it tastes really good, but we don't really come here for food. Actually, if sometimes you get bored and uh, sometimes you get nothing to do, and, uh, or you feel happy, or you just feel like you just need to go down, and then you see something, snack. Yeah. And uh, you just, why not, just get some snack and walk on the street and talk to your friends. How many of your dates have you brought here? Can't remember. <laughs> This year's Christmas celebrations include Vita Bar and One for the Road's Christmas parties on December 24th, and Powell's Family Restaurant and Bar hosts a dinner buffet on the 25th. For New Year's Eve, check out Miracle Pub's Countdown Night, Stirred Up's White Trash Party, or the Rockin' New Year's Eve Party at Shooter's Restaurant and Bar. This is a Dalan Arena. Well, we're gonna take a look at the Dongguan Leopards practice, all right? Let's do it. So excited. Steven Arbus here again. I'm here with Dante Green, forward for the Dongwon Leopards. We, we're kind of under the understanding that he's a little taller, but uh, you know, I guess I hit a growth spurt, right? Yeah, there you go. Not bad, right? I can make I can make a couple shots. Yeah, my my new sign for the team. <laughs> Let me jump down here and get into reality, okay, guys? So, um, this is the Bobby Graham from the Dongwon Leopard. Hi, uh, how you doing? <laughs> I think the Dongwon Leopards have pretty much uh, been perennial um, uh, postseason teams. What are you guys' feelings about where the season is now and uh, how you guys make that happen again? I just want to keep building, keep building our chemistry, playing hard, and you know, trying to take the team back to the playoffs. The uh, Guangdong Tigers and the Leopards is going to be um, a huge matchup. How are you preparing for that game and uh, what, are your, what are your chances? How are you going to make them suffer? Uh, we're going to, when that time comes, we're going to prepare for it well. I mean, we're well coached. Uh, they keep us. You know, organized and uh, game plan has always been good, and I think everybody's you know gearing up and we'll, we'll be motivated for that game. Come back, come back. I'm Adam, I think this is yes. what, this is the exciting moment. We've uh, talked to Dante and Bobby. They've agreed to uh, do a little something fun for us. We're gonna shoot five free throw shots apiece. For every shot they miss, they have to answer one of our embarrassing questions. Okay, guys. So we finished our little competition. And uh, very kindly, they missed a couple shots. All right, so Dante, question number one for you. In your career, who had the worst case of athlete's foot? My guy, Johnny Flynn. Johnny Flynn. <laughs> I don't know if it was out. athlete's feet, but his feet stink. <laughs> <laughs> China is like a um, good foot paradise. We have so many good foods here. You guys got it right. And uh, I would like to you know uh, how to like chicken feet. It's my favorite. That's your favorite? Yeah. I do. I like chicken feet. Yes. Tried you first. It. I tried it once. It was a. Uh, it was interesting. It was different, but uh, it was okay with me. What if you look at your iPods, whatever you've got? What is the uh, the one song that is your guilty pleasure? The one that you like? Look, I'm not gonna let anybody see this, but uh, it's there. Tell the whole world here. Ah, uh, I mean, I mean, everybody loves the song. Uh, Rihanna, Diamonds. Diamonds. Yeah. Shame right like a diamond. Everybody loves that song. That's one of the only songs though that uh -huh. people right like. All right. You? With me, uh, I'm not going to lie, I have a Miley Cyrus song on my iPod. It but it's is. with Juicy J, but it's Miley Cyrus. So. Juicy J, I'm not sure if you're cool enough to make Miley Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to go with it. All right, guys, thanks a lot. It was a lot of fun. Appreciate right, it. Hope you guys time. enjoyed yourself. Thank you. Yeah, right, thank you. Here, DG Plus, the Don Juan you want. At number five, from Global Wine's second anniversary wine tasting. Because you can't drink without at least four models by your side. At number four, from Dong Wan Forum's Italian Night at Giovanni's Italian Restaurant. Is that her larynx or a tongue piercing? Coming in at number three, from the V Plus Grand Open. We have to say, guys, put down the phone. The resolution can't be better than the real thing. Now, dance. At number two, from the Here Dong Wan 100th Issue Party. I have a hard night dinner here. A little camera on next. And our number one megapixel of the month comes from Stir It Up's second anniversary party, where it looks like Bruce Willis has made a move. It's an easy choice between dying hard and living it up in Dongwon. Here, DG Plus. The Dongwon you want. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check in next month for more sights and sounds from the city.